they said. It'll be fun, they said. Khaleesi's definitely feeling better now. Did that feel better, Khaleesi? <laughs> She's like, I'm going in and hiding. You'd cut my hair. For the most part, her coat stays really in good condition, but when she has the summer blowout, I cannot brush it fast enough to keep it from matting, and I did have to cut some mats out. <laughs> Makes me grateful for the years of professional dog grooming I did in college. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, baby. Hi. This might be one of the last videos I take of you, my babies. I'm going to miss you. We have someone who's going to purchase all of them so they will be together, which makes me so happy. And we will be keeping Mama, who's blowing out her coat as well, and Bill, who's inside the pallet shelter hiding. <laughs> he sees a little ear. Silly Bill. These piggies have been such a blessing, and I cannot wait to have more. But I'm definitely going to get Mama's weight back up before breeding her again. At least I still have these little cuties. <laughs> Hi babies, all sleeping in the shade, in the bushes. <sighs> Can't even hardly see them. Mama's in the shelter sleeping. And the boys are out adventuring. Because they sure don't want to be in that sloppy mess. Are you boys enjoying it? You can tell they went in the sloppy mess to roll around in the mud. They still like to wallow. But boy, are they enjoying the fresh pasture. This isn't much of a pasture. It's the edge of the woods, so it's not as high quality. But once we get the coonies moved over, when the little ones go, the big ones are going to go out into the buck paddock. So we'll have more room in this area to make homes for these guys. Look at them. They're so cute. They're like, oh, you woke us up. It's time to go nurse. Oh, we're going to go bother mom. I'm going to go bother mama. You're just a big lazy boar, aren't you? We probably won't be keeping these boars much longer. Um, probably going to end up sending them to freezer camp. Just not sure when I'm going to do that or how because I'm considering doing it at home. Um, and with it being fly season, that means I might want to wait until it cools off. So we shall see. But we do not need two boars. We were lucky enough to be blessed with two, but now we, we can consider maybe getting a different boar for the coonies that we will use for the American guinea hog as well. But who knows? Our plan is evolving and changing every day. It just depends on what experiences we have and how things go and what feels best and what we do best for the animals and for ourselves. Ryan has actually been faced with the moral dilemma of raising pigs for eating. He is not handling it as well as I thought he would and he's a little bit sad about the idea of processing the pigs. Now I don't disagree. I'm sad too. I don't want to, but I'm also of the mindset that we do eat pork and we eat it from industrial pork farming and that's bad. I would much rather have a healthier option for the animals and for our family. I just got the coonie flop with one of the babies we're raising. Came over to me and got some ear scratches and then flopped. Because she wanted belly scratches. <laughs> Mommy, you're jealous. You want them too. Oh, yeah. Belly rubs. Who needs love belly rubs? <laughs> oh, you too, Mama. <laughs> She's like, let me lie down. Yeah, my coat's coming in. It's itchy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can I keep Bowser? I... Is there any chance she would let me keep Bowser? Of course. The one that I get attached to is going to be leaving too. He's my baby, guys. This is going to be so hard to say goodbye to my Bowser. You've been such a good friend. And I just love you so much. 
Yeah, sweet babies. Okay. She seems to be like she's a little bit more swollen in the back and sunken in at the tailbone. With my goats, that says that there's a baby coming. I don't know how to tell with a cow. Cows are new to me. But that sure looks sunken in. It hasn't looked like that. I'm gonna miss you guys. Mommy loves you. What do you guys think? Pretty different over here. You lonely yet, Mama? Well, don't worry, I got a surprise for you. Oh, Bowser. Bowser, you got forgotten. No, you didn't. You're gonna be my baby. Yes, you are. You get to stay. They gave you to me. Y'all, I could not be any happier right now. I get to keep my Bowsie. He my baby. Oh. Well, did you go see your mama now? Yeah. You get to stay with mama. Hopefully that'll help with her weaning. So it's not cold turkey. She's got one little one to help her. It just, where are you going, Bowser? Oh, you missed out on the apples. He's so smart. Sorry, buddy. They're all gone. <laughs> Bill's like, pet me. Where are you barking at? You're barking at your own dad? Bowser, you're so cute. You're going to be spoiled. My toes are not food. Now we can get her fattened up. Yep. Give her extra food. Get her through this. She needs extra protein to have her hair growing well, too. Why is she being mean to Bill? I wonder if she's cranky because she left her, her babies left today. Are you cranky, Mama? Hi, Mama. <laughs> you stole the apple. <laughs> Bowser, you good boy. You took that apple from Bill. <laughs> Mama rubbing on daddy. Rubbing on daddy. That's a scratching post right there. Oh, look, they're sharing. <laughs> Bowser's got half and Bill's got the other 